What normally would be today's Meta Monday episode is going to be a starter deck review. With March approaching in under two weeks, the month is largely going to focus on Geen. Jokes aside, green decks are going to be the primary topic for the next two weeks, as players will be competing for the winner's Terriermon and more. With that in mind, what kind of goodies does the starter deck offer? Join me as I review each card and what I think they could be used in, and whether they'll be competitive or collecting dust in a box. Gummymon returns as another level 2 green Digimon. It simply has a win attacking effect of once per turn. If you have a green tamer, draw one. Green has a lot of draw 1 eggs, but for a comparison, Pinamon requires you to attack an opponent's Digimon to draw 1. Tanemon requires you to play a green tamer. EX2 Gummymon requires you to suspend an opponent's Digimon. Kokomon, when an effect suspends one of your Digimon. And Freemon, draws one only if the Digimon has Leomon in its name. While not archetype specific, this does require you to have a green tamer in play, and you must attack. Largely, my favorites are the ones that do not require you to attack, mainly because green bodies typically have a low DP stat line in the level 4 and 5 category. For level 3s, Terriermon also makes its return and the first to debut as a Digimon that can Digivolve with a special black box text from Gummymon. Main, once per turn you may play one green tamer card or one level 3 Digimon card with Lotmon in its name from your hand, with the play cost reduced by 2. This Digimon immediately in my mind is going to be a staple in a lot of green decks moving forward. Being able to play one Tamer for a reduced cost of 2 is crazy! Combine this with Tanemon from BT11, that's a free draw replacement when the green Tamer gets played. It has an inheritable effect of all turns, while this Digimon suspended, it gives plus 1000 DP. You're telling me, attacking you'll suspend and get the buff, and when you block, you get the buff. Easy value. I love this card! Lotmon, like Terriermon, is also the first to Digivolve from Kokomon for a special Digivolution cost of zero. Main, once per turn one of your Digimon gains Alliance for the turn. It also has the same Inheritable as Terriermon. While not the same level of bustedness as Terriermon, giving a Digimon Alliance can be huge, especially if you're able to play out Lotmons out for free in conjunction with EX4 Henry and Su Tong. Wendigomon returns. Digivolve for 3 generically from green or purple, or 2 from a Digimon with Terriermon or Lotmon in its name. On play and when Digivolving, delete one level 3 or lower Digimon. If this Digimon deleted your Digimon, you may play one level 3 Digimon card with Terriermon or Lotmon in its name from trash without paying cost. This effect is mandatory, meaning if you do have only level 3s on your battlefield, one must go. Its inheritable is identical to the Terriermon and Lotmon. In some ways, I'm glad this card is also available for the fact that it does allow more color crosses into a certain Digimon. It could also be used to delete floodgates that are preventing you from using your agility trainings, memory boosts, or playing Digimon by card effects. With Gargomon, the Digivolution costs are the same. The only difference is this Digimon is generically green or black. Your turn, once per turn when this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your Digimon gains jamming for the turn. It doesn't say other Digimon, so when this Digimon attacks, you could be attacking in the security with jamming. A pretty neat way to gift it too. Definitely provides buffs for Archetype Mega Gargomon decks and could also be used in the Cherubimon Alliance decks as well. Rapidmon on the other hand is where a lot of people's minds will be tunnel visioning too. This armor Digimon can Digivolve from Terriermon for 3, or a level 3 Digimon that's green or yellow for a cost of 4. This Digimon has Blocker, Armor Purge, and an all turns once per turn effect, that when this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 4000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. In combination with other effects, it can be a deadly DP reduction through your opponent's turn, and could get a lot stronger in future sets. Like all Digimon reviewed so far, the Inheritable is the same. Jumping from Armored Rapidmon to Level 5 Rapidmon, this Digimon does conveniently Digivolve from Gargomon or Rapidmon for a cost of 3. 4 if you're going from a Level 4 Digimon that's green or black generically. On play and when Digivolving, de-Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if you have a green Tamer, this Digimon can be deleted by your opponent's effects and it can't be returned to the hand or deck until the end of your opponent's turn. Bottom line, this means you have 3 ways to remove this Digimon. Number 1. DP reduction to nothing, number two, D Digivolve, or number three, bounce to security. Its inheritable is in line with most level five cyborg Digimon that are green or black. 
trashing the top security when you delete an opponent's Digimon in battle. This means you could also run this card in Machine Dramon decks, considering it adds another different name Cyborg to the line. Additionally, this adds another target for Jumbo Control decks if you're going Black Base. From here for Digimon, it's just the level 6's Mega Gargomon Ace and Cherubimon. Mega Gargomon Ace is a 7 cost Ace Digimon that can blast Digivolve from your hand. Note that you can Digivolve off of specifically Rapidmon for 5, whether it be the level 4 or level 5 variant. When Digivolving normally though, this does give you the flexibility on how much memory you want to give your opponent. This Digimon has Blocker, Reboot, and a when Digivolving effect that suspends one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers, and then two of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers can't unsuspend until the end of your opponent's turn. It also has a when Digivolving end of attack once per turn effect that gives you an optional unsuspend. This Digimon is honestly beastly and is the best Mega Gargomon Digimon at this time in my mind. While EX2 is arguably good for its return of your opponent's suspended Digimon, the fact that you can suspend Tamers is a game changer as well. Cherubimon on the other hand costs 4 from a green or purple Digimon, or Antilamon for a cost of 3. It has Alliance, and a win Digivolving effect that lets you optionally delete a level 4 or lower Digimon. Then play 1 green or purple level 4 or lower Digimon from your hand or trash, without paying cost. Meaning if you do play Lotmon, you could in theory give this Digimon another stack of Alliance. The only caveat being you must have 2 Digimon in play to suspend to give Cherubimon Security Attack plus 2 and the extra DP. Tamer-wise, the deck sports a new Henry Wong, this one being the Warp Digivolve equivalent of Takato Matsuki from BT12. While not a memory fixer, Henry already has one, and this one acts more like all the three cost tamers from recent sets, giving a memory if your opponent has a Digimon in play. Conveniently, this tamer does give the Digimon stack rush if you Digivolve with the Warp mechanic. Now my last question, when and where are we getting Rika and Ryo's Warp Digivolving tamer? Double Typhoon is the newest delay option card for this deck, and in some ways, it's kind of generic enough to splash in some other green decks. Its main effect is reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one green Digimon card and one green Tamer card, then bottom deck the rest, and place this in the battle area. Its delay allows you to play one Terrier Mon or Lot Mon from hand without paying cost, meaning this card can supplement your need for additional bodies, should you alliance. Its delay effect is very different from normal delay option cards in that you don't gain memory or reduce Digivolution costs, but rather, play a free body. Its security effect is also different in that it actually interacts with your opponent's Digimon, and suspends up to two of them and then places this card into the battle area. I love the value this card has in terms of searching, and some defense. Giant Missile is the security bomb option card equivalent to most starter decks, that suspends one of your opponent's Digimon. Then you may return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of the deck, and one of your opponent's Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of your opponent's turn. For 8 memory, this option card can stop one attack, send the other Digimon that is already attacked, and then prevent your opponent from unsuspending another? That's 3 potential bodies right there. I love this card. The last and final card to go over is Magnemon. Magnemon has no relation to any of the other cards in this deck considering there is no black level 3 Digimon to Digivolve off of. Likewise, there's no Vmon. But this new armor variant has a security effect that de-digivolves one Digimon. Then at the end of the battle, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into this card without paying the cost. Keep in mind, you still must meet the requirement. This effect honestly seems like a pseudo-ace effect that's in the security. It has blocker, an armor purge, and a when Digivolving effect of for each color one of your opponent's Digimon has, trash that Digimon's top Digivolution card, and then return one of your opponent's Digimon without Digivolution cards to the hand. Largely, this effect is to reference Chimeramon who can tuck multiple color sources, and then bounce it. How likely is it though? I don't see it happening much with this Digimon specifically, but with everything else, I see it being possible. Keep in mind that every card I've gone over today is a new card for the starter deck. There are quite a few reprint cards too, but I felt they did not need to be included. And while there is a bonus pack as well, just based on the card effects alone, I am 100% excited for this deck, and highly recommend it to newer players if they're just getting into the game. Which cards were your favorite, and why? Let me know in the comments as next week I start looking at a lot of green decks. This is Digipanda, logging out.